concept is getting a bag and busting it wide open and doing it again. You understand me? What the fuck is up with everybody? It is the one and only paper motherfucking boy. Do not forget the underscore before I top rope, elbow drop your mama in a rib cage. But anyways, we are here in San Francisco, home of the dope boys. And we're gonna talk about my dope boy trophy, that BMW E30 M motherfucking tree. As you can see, I'm rocking the T. And today's video is sponsored by the one and only, the Paperboy Collection merch. Make sure to come and shop. Hit the link below, let's go. So what you are looking at right here is a dope boys trophy. Also a legendary race car that first hatched in 1986 up until 1991 and this is my 1990 coke white also known as alpine white e30 m3 it is a natural aspirated real deal race car that raced in a division called dtm and this was like the group a division and dtm stands for du schuschwesh tour wagon meister craft deutsche tourenwagen meisterschaft right here as you can see on the bottom of the screen this was a car that was also built to go against the 190e shout out to my boy tim mar but overall this was just killing everybody the sobs the audis the bins was neck and neck but this overall this was the boy right here so when crack hit black neighborhoods in the 80s luxury cars was like the top peak of we getting money along with big jewels, fancy clothes, but mainly of all, cars always represented that you was getting money. And in the 80s and 90s, this is what it was. The Chevys and Fords and American cars, this was cool, Japanese was cool, but as like the bankers, the real estate agents, the superstars, the sports stars, everybody ran to the European, not because the price tag, but because the luxury development and the build around that they gave the car. My shit special. Let's talk about this guy right here, Mr. Alpina himself. So those who don't know what the fuck Alpina is or who he is or what they do, Alpina is a aftermarket brand that specifically builds high performance parts and race parts for the BMW. Nobody else, no Benz, no Jaguar, no Audi, nobody else but BMW himself. And what they do, BMW let Alpina design their own special BMW cars. So I know they got a very rare one. That's a M chassis E30, but not an M3. It's called like the BMW E30 B6 3.2 S or something like that. And it comes with a bigger motor. I swear it probably got turbo with it. The interior comes with special stitching. You get you a special steering wheel, Alpina cluster, Alpina wheels, the graphics on the side, the shift knob. And you also get this little certified badge to let you know that this is numbered. It's an official Alpina car. You dig? My favorite part about this car, to be honest, has to be the motherfucking head wipers. This is the Euro spec style. See, one thing about me, I'm gonna always do what they're not doing, and this is this. It wipes the hate away. <laughs> My other part is the bra to hold the titties up. I'm coming through with that genuine Italian leather to hold the titties up, you understand me? Inside my car, I kept the stock interior, which was that nice turtle dove. The reason why I kept it just like this, kind of beat. I didn't restitch my interior because once you start reupholstering classic things like this, you just don't get that, that same genuine feel. This is real Italian leather straight from across seas that you will never get that nice soft sensation. Don't get me wrong. It is good leather companies out there that can mimic this, but nothing mimics first generation and OEM specific shit. Nothing comes close to OEM factory shit. You understand me? Right here, Alpina steering wheel. I got one of the dopest clusters for the E30, which is Alpina. I was looking for the MK Motorsport. I'll probably do that on another E30 M3 build. I know it's one more. I think that it's called like Hargi or Heritage. I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but that's another aftermarket brand that builds parts specifically for the BMW. Right here, I got a six-speed transmission. You're wondering, damn, a six speed? He said this car was produced in 1986 into 91 and he got 1990? How is that possible? Let me show you. Boom, pop the hood. Most goofy niggas probably think the hood come up like this. No, this is European spec. It's reversed. Booyah! Wow. 
This is the holy grail of all holy grails. And to top it off, to make a holy grail of a holy grail, supercharge this. But right now, I got the supercharger, but it's at the crib right now. And I'm still dialing the power of this all motor S54 swap, which is BMW's favorite motor. One best motor eight years in a row. And one best motor of the year eight years in a row by Motor Trend. You understand me? So what you dope ass viewers are looking at right now through this cyper optic lens that my cameraman is putting to work is a s54 motor out of a e46 m3 inline straight six those who don't know what a straight six is it means one cylinder two three four five and six let me tell you in cantonese yet ye sam say mm, lo. that means six not a v6 one two three four five six no, this is what a straight inline six mean. It's a cast iron bottom black with a cold ass aluminum head. And you know what they also say about this? Shout out to the two Jay-Zs. Hova, Ho. the supermotors, they incorporate this as the European supermotor because just like the Toyota supermotor, this also, and that supermotor also has a cast iron block and they're both V6s and they love turbo boost. Incredible. This is my carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Intake manifold air box. If y'all know a brand called CSL, they are the originators of this box, but this is the aftermarket company that goes by the name of K-Tuned. And they are a European brand out of Europe. And this is where this came from. It took about three to four months for me to get this. And I had to order this in European language. Shout out to PayPal for pushing that money through. This just makes the whole engine bay just look extra clean. It has a very wide intake. You could probably suck up your newborn kid or your badass little brother if he's talking shit. The cool thing about this motor, on paper, they say this motor pumps out 333 horsepower to go along with it being an M3. So they try to keep all the numbers linked up. But in actuality, this is like a 350 horsepower motor. So with this car power to weight ratio, this is like a, I would say, an aggressive 450 horsepower car. I know I dog walk a supercharged V-series CTS on the highway. Definitely keeping up with a Porsche, Porsche Turbo at that. My Type R is a monster. And that, that was hanging with this because uh, the K24 ain't no bitch anyway. But that just goes to tell you, man, this is a quick car, man. This shit so quick, I actually burnt my back bumper because this shit was spitting out. Flamethrower. Charizard, use flame spin. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ash Ketchum. But other than that, this is my racing dynamic front strut bar. Shout out to our crew, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite race company based out in South San Francisco. Shout out to Pops, Dan, I love you. Shout out to my guy, Evan, to help me piece this together. This is my favorite car out of my whole garage fleet. I hope my other cars don't hear that. I'm just being honest, not because this is a high value car at the moment, but just overall, I'm a dope boy and this is how we ride. Now, when I start to gap you, because this car moves so fast, it's faster than lightning, no bullshit. You're gonna see a nice set of tail lights that go by this name of StarTech. Now, StarTech is an aftermarket light company that produced the lights in the 90s, and they come in three different colors. A light pink, dark purple, and a smoke black. This is the dark purple edition. I do have the pink ones, but that's tucked away. This right here is a very, very rare set of tail lights, and you will rarely see that on any other M or E30. Everything I do is dumb drippy with the sauce and dumb rare. That's why I got these lights here. You see this wing right here? Boom. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Say it with me. Carbon, Carbon. fiber. Carbon fiber. When the BMW E30 was given to the public. The production line had to make 5,000 of these M3s in order to even race it on the DTM tracks. So when they did that, it did so well on the showroom floor and in Giselle's period. They also produced two more edition, the Evil One and the Evil Two. Well, this is the Evil One slash Evil Two wing. It's a three-stage adjustable wing. It comes basic mode and right now the mode i'm on is probably like on number two mode which makes it more aggressive when i'm blowing past you this is an aftermarket company because the original one did not come carbon fiber but you can still buy that in uk from the dealership you just gotta know the part number all right and i do not have the part number so go ahead and do your wikipedia or your google documentation homework <laughs> As I get a lot older, I start to think about the quality and the value of originality. These right here, kids, are called 
cassette tapes. This is what music was like in the 90s and the early 80s. This is what you guys called Apple, the Apple store. We had to have a hard copy Apple store in our glove compartment or in our tape cassette casing. And right now what I got spinning is E40 Hall of Fame, Jay-Z Hard Knock Life, volume two. Shout out to my boy Jada Kiss with the locks, RP Pac, Machiavelli, and you know I had to rock with my guy, Notorious B.I.G., one of my favorite tapes I'm spinning right now, Bay Ships on the Blade by my boy Larry June. Hey, 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 hey. Good job, Larry. Numbers, M3. Hee hee! So those who are watching, right, this is how a cassette tape works. We're gonna give you a quick tutorial. You open a cassette tape like this, then you pull that fire piece of music out, right? Then you go ahead and insert it inside the tape deck like this. Volume up, and we get to knocking. Who we playing right now? There you go. Then you go pick up one of your honeys, your Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, or even Friday girl. Throw her in the seat of this motherfucker, hit them Frisco streets, and talk about financial literacy. How we gonna build self-wealth? How we gonna own some land? How we gonna have A1 credit together? Yeah, I'm talking about, shout out to my guy Larry June. New music with us coming soon. A A A A A. A A me. You. All right, man, I want y'all to listen close. In life, there's gonna be some ups and downs, speed bumps, pit stops, even some slowdowns. Because this game of life is not a race, man. It's a real marathon. There is no, I'm about to beat life first. You gotta enjoy every inch, every footstep of this game that we playing. It's not easy. That's what we're gonna encounter all these side quests during this marathon, man. But you gotta just remember this, man. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it, man. You just gotta remember this. Keep going, keep going, and keep going until you get to your destination. Peace out, y'all. This was my 1990 BMW E30 review, a Dope Boys trophy. I'm out. Perfect.